Welcome to another exciting episode of the Neville Goddard Podcast. Jerry sent me an email because Jerry was in trouble. Deep trouble. I'm talking dangerous trouble. I'm talking about life possibly over trouble. And Jerry used what we teach to move around the world to come back home. And that touches me because I know this shit works. It moved me around the world and it's got me out of some terrific jams as well. But Jerry's having something going on now, again, that I can deeply relate to. And as you listen to today's podcast, I want you to just entertain that you, you, that you, that you really have and are the power behind it all. Let's dive into the middle of Jerry's email. So Jerry says, I managed to escape because I repeatedly imagined I was driving down Santa Monica Boulevard, which I know, and slept in the presumption I was there. I had no idea how it would happen, and when it did, it seemed as if a miracle had occurred. I know it was because of Neville Goddard and you. So I suggest you do a podcast on how do you manage the feelings of fear? Because being stoned with the facts of life can result in a feeling of fear and desperation. I didn't learn from that experience and slipped back into my old ways. So now I'm being stoned with those facts and having to learn all over again how to imagine. Jerry, this is really close to me because, as you know from my past, you know, I escaped being a hostage in a prison riot. I was four months on the job, I think. Shit hit the fan, I was in the middle of it, got PTSD, let that run my life for quite some time until I dove deep into this stuff. And I gotta tell you, I, I really understand fear and desperation. And I can tell you with authority that fear and desperation can only show up in your life when and where you haven't fully bought the Pearl of Great Price. Now, I, I know a couple years ago you did ManifestingMasteryCourse.com. I invite you to do it again because right in the middle, we stick a week where we explore the Pearl of Great Price. But I'm also going to invite you today to go deeper with the Pearl Power Pack calls that we did. We did three calls on the Pearl because we noticed after Manifesting Mastery had been out for about 10 years, and we noticed time and time again that in any area or any aspect of someone's life where they haven't bought the pearl, that's where they get stuck, that's where they get frustrated, that's where fear shows up, and worst of all, desperation. Neville Goddard said that you must give up the belief in all powers outside of you. I got that. I'm sure you get that too. The question is how. And the answer is we explore that. And that's what those three calls in Pearl Power Pack were about. You literally, and, and you can start this right now, just notice when and where you have bought the pearl, where you actually and honestly experience, yeah, you know, I'm in charge. I don't control everything, but yeah, I'm in charge of what's going on in my life. There's a silence that goes with that. There's a, a stillness that goes along with that. Anytime you notice from your awareness of being as God, and consciousness is the only reality. And you're conscious of both the imaginal and the physical. Stillness, peace, silence prevail. And any time where you sell the pearl, and especially when you don't realize you've sold the pearl, fear, depression, desperation, those show up, and they show up, and it's harsh. I often liken it to cat shit and coffee. You know, hey, it's coffee. Well, what's that solid thing sitting at the bottom of my coffee cup? It just doesn't taste right. You know, it's funny. I look back at how I struggled, and I struggled a lot. I, uh, I fell for a lot of the self-help bullshit. You know, push, persist, you know, that kind of attitude. And when I discovered it really was about exploring, one of my chief states right now is explorer. 
And I just keep exploring this stuff. And I got to tell you where that came from. I noticed Neville put out those really cool lectures in 1948. And then he just kept talking, exploring, discovering, dancing, sharing, sharing his delight. And you can hear that in every single recording. You can hear his delight. And that to me is a biggie because when you sell the pearl, you start to defend and you feel like you need to defend. Again, fear shows up. Desperation, eventually depression because you get de depleted when you do that. The pearl is the never-ending source of sunshine. So right now, what I invite you to do is just explore. What's it like when and where you fought the pearl? Notice those feelings and bathe yourself in them. And my other invite, get that pearlpowerpack.com. You can get all three recordings for the price of one of those calls. And at least go read what's going on there, because there, there's some gold on that page at pearlpowerpack.com. Because I get it. You know, we do stone ourselves with the facts, especially after a trauma. We stone ourselves with the facts because we keep reliving the drama. We stone ourselves with the facts, even if we know the trauma, the drama's over. But we still have that feeling. And it's that feeling of separation, of being possibly separated, the feeling of actually being stoned. Think about that. Biblical times, that was the ultimate punishment. You got stoned to death. That wouldn't be fun. But here's the thing. You are what gives life. It's time for your resurrection. Jerry, I really thank you for sharing this with me today. This is going to bless a lot of people. And the number one rule right now is stop and be still. Feel the love that we share, the love that you are. Know that there's people that care about you. Feel that as we go into the silence. Feel the love that you are. Stop and be still. Celebrate noticing you are what gives life. Thank you for listening to the Neville Goddard Podcast.